Hello and welcome to mine and AHS Sonic's tutorial on getting a custom bitmap and map description in the map selection screen. I am Aon Death. This does have some flaws, but hopefully after people see how to do it, uh, they can improve upon it. Okay, so with the video, I included a file called maplist.tiff right here. Um, this is a template where you'll where you will be able to place your bitmap for your map. So let's go ahead and open that up in an image editing program like uh, PaintShop Pro or preferably Photoshop. Alright, okay so here's all the pictures for the maps in order. All you have to do is uh, take a picture of the map you're gonna modify, the, modify this for and you um, and you just place it over the top. I'll show you right here. See, I just duplicated the layer from my other picture of a picture I took in game of the tutorial. I'm going to use the tutorial map for this just because, well, this is a tutorial. So. I'm just going to size it down to the size of the picture, or close, and then you just got to get it exact, just match it up. That looks good. Alright, and then we just go ahead and flatten the image and we save it in the Halo Custom Edition and you go to Data and you save it in UI, Shell, and then Bitmaps and you save it as MP underscore map underscore graphics spelled like that and save it as a uh, TIFF file and save it uh, make sure it is not compressed and then you just click OK okay um, before you compile this bitmap I highly recommend you back up the original MP map graphics uh, so that um, you can come back to it later if you don't like what uh, you've done or you messed up somehow. It's in the tags um, UI, where is UI? UI, shell, bitmaps, and just copy um, the MP map list or MP map graphics dot bitmap and just kind of back it up somewhere. I already have mine backed up so I won't do that now. So let's go ahead and open up tool and we'll type um, tool bitmaps UI slash shell slash bitmaps and just let tool compile the bitmap we created. So now we can open up Gorilla and just check to make sure that it did it correctly. So UI shell bitmaps MP map graphics show bitmaps. So there's our map. We have the other maps in there too. All right, it worked. All right. So now that we're done with that, um, we're going to edit the text description for our map. So, for this we're going to need the uh, stringless editor, which I included with the video in the zip file. Alright, so in the stringless editor, we're going to open up two different Unicode string lists. The first one is in um, UI shell uh, and then main menu and it's called mpmaplist.unicodestringlist. So we just open that up 
and we scroll all the way down to the bottom. And the last two entries, they both they both should say unknown level. And we'll just change both of these t uh, to our map name, which is tutorial. And then we just save the list as a Unicode string list in main menu as MP map list. Alright, and then the second one um, is located in UI shell. Um, then it's in main menu multiplayer type select and it's an MP map select and it's the map data that Unicode string list. Alright in here we're just gonna scroll down to the bottom again. And this also says unknown level. We're just gonna change this um, change number nineteen to what our want what we want our text description to be. So I'm just gonna have it say um, the tutorial map. Um, when you add the text, make sure not to make the line, the text lines too long, or not all of the text will appear. So I would say a limit of like maybe 10 to 12 characters. Um, mine is a little over 12, but for this tutorial, I won't worry about it. Under that, just press enter a few times. Um, I'm gonna make it say uh, two to six players, or whatever you like. And then you just save the file as multiplayer type UI shell multiplayer type select MP map select and MP and map data Unicode string list. Then we go ahead and save it. Okay, now we're going to close it. <laughs> all right. Um, now all we have to do is compile the map and tool. So we'll go back into command prompt type tool build cache file level oops level slash test slash tutorial slash tutorial and um, just ignore that weird error that's mine um, it will come up with these warnings tried to add item UI shell main menu MP map list with different size than expected. Ignore that. It's just saying that, of course, the file's bigger than the originals were, so it just, it won't harm anything. Okay, so, now I'm going to meet you in-game. I'll see you then. Alright, so here we are. Uh, now you will notice that when we go into the map select screen in the main menu, it won't show up. Um, this is because uh, we would have to compile a whole new UI map in order for it to show up and we don't really want to do that because that would take a lot of time plus nobody else would be able to see it if you just made the UI unless you distributed your yours um, so in order to see our modified part we have to open up the, the map that we modified and we start a game in it. And so we're in the map. And then all we have to do is create a new game. And you'll notice now that the tutorial now has a picture. It has the name, the description, number of players. You can change the number of tabs between that. I just did that just for fun. The problem is, the flaw with this is that every single one of the custom maps takes on those properties. Um, and for the picture, all of the uh, original maps do. But this only happens in our map, so it's fine. Um, So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Thank you for watching. My name is AM Death, and have a good day.